Labour have now wrestled six seats from the Tories since 2022. But how significant are these results less than a year out from a general election? Let's just put this in a bit of context. Labour overturned a massive 18,000 Conservative majority in Wellingborough and more than 11,000 in Kingswood. That's a swing of 28.5 and 16.4 percentage points. These are some of the largest Conservative to Labour swings we've seen in the post-war era. Wellingborough was the largest since 1994. That's when Labour took Dudley West, which foreshadowed Tony Blair's landslide victory three years later. So could this be a sign of things to come? Well, Labour currently needs a 127 percentage point swing to secure a victory at the general election. That would already be the largest such swing since 1945. And by elections, they're by no means accurate predictors of election results. But if the Kingswood result, that's a 16.4 percentage point swing, were to be replicated nationally, well, that would give Labour a huge majority of 110 seats. A Wellingborough-style swing would break our swingometer. It would be completely unheard of. But in theory, if it were replicated everywhere, the Tories would be left with just eight seats. So there's no doubt that the Conservative to Labour swing is gaining momentum, but who's really driving it? Well, the Conservative vote, it's collapsing. Look at the Tory vote share in Wellingborough at the top there. It's the biggest drop at a by-election since 1945. But this isn't a simple case of Tory voters defecting to Labour. A breakdown of the vote share shows that the Reform Party here in the light blue has been doing much of the heavy lifting, helping to deliver those Labour victories. So this is a battle that the Tories are fighting on multiple fronts. These are by-elections, and of course things play out differently in general elections. But it does give us a sense of the shifting mood among the electorate, and the signals are pointing to an even bigger swing for Labour than the one achieved under Tony Blair in 1997.